Guys, I missed last week's video. I'm sorry. I was playing video games. I didn't want to make a video. I'm making it up for you guys this week. This episode is going to be super cool. Or, as you know, we're drawing the Winter Soldier. Oh my goodness. Oh my guys, guys, it's actually going to be so freaking cool. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's do it. Let's get right into it. Let's go. Right. So, I've made a sketch. Um, so here it is, my Winter Soldier sketch. I really like it. It's looking pretty good. If you want me to show you my sketch process, I can make that on the video. Let me know. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to have the full image in colour, but I'll, I'll keep the colours quite grayscale and moody on the Winter Soldier. I think that's the plan. I'm going to make this painting. I'm going to then do some epic B-roll and then... I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys, so let's let's get started, shall we? Alright, so for right now, I'm gonna be quickly teaching you how or the most effective way to paint metal. I'm going to teach you guys how to paint metal. It's super simple, but it takes a lot of practice and a lot of understanding too. Obviously, the first and the easiest step when painting metal, uh, this is pretty much the most basic thing you can possibly learn to do, um, is just understanding um, a surface. Okay, so metal is an extremely reflective surface. The reason for this, obviously, is because it's a very smooth surface. It's not as rough as, say, skin. When I say rough, I mean on a very, like, small level, like, microscopic. So the light is coming from this direction, meaning that the this is our light source. I mean, this is sorry. This will be our highlight, and it's very very sharp, as you can see. You can definitely tell where the highlight is and where it finishes. This is because obviously metal is more reflective. Same goes for the shadows over here. We can see the shadows are very defined because the metal and the surface is very polished and smooth and reflective. So this orange, orangey reddish brown. This sort of area of color here is reflective lighting. That's what it's called. The light coming from his jacket is reflecting onto his arm here. Light coming from here is also hitting here. Not as much as it's hitting the arm, but it's hitting his jacket. And it's reflecting off of the jacket onto his arm. It's not reflecting so much to the point where it becomes as bright as a highlight because most of the light is being absorbed by the jacket. So I'll give you an example now of how reflective surfaces react differently to highlights and shadows. So I'm going to open up a new program and I'll demonstrate that to you now. All right, so right now I'm in this program, it's called Magica Voxel. I'll link it down in the description, along with the tutorial by Marco Bucci explaining this much better than I do. So I'm gonna click render here and as you can see, I'm going to make our light source. This red beam will be our light source. So let me create that. So here's our light source. Let me make it stronger. Ooh. This is pretty much accurate to our skin. It's not, it's pretty smooth, but it's not extremely smooth. It's still quite rough. The light is appearing on the skin, as you can see, and it's changing the color, it's changing the value. Okay, so now I'm gonna change the robot to metal. Okay, so if I change this robot to metal now, notice how much more reflective this robot is. That, that is extremely sharp. Oh, that's actually perfect. Look at that. There. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to keep working on my piece, and I will catch up with you later. So let's do that. Yo, yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check Give it a microphone, I make them make it a microphone dead Don't step to me newbie, I could truly be moody I could have played the fucking Grinch in the movies I've been a part-time shadow cat, part-time That is not a guy that I would ever want to try to battle rap Snap, crack a pop, mind fried to a crisp Make an MC into a wide-eyed lunatic I 
it in a double All that I would have when I flipped it in a double Last video. She's um she's pretty nuts. Come here. She doesn't listen to me. She doesn't like me, I don't think. She thinks she's a dog. She's a bit um she's strange. Anyway guys, thank you for watching another video. It's pretty pretty glad that I've been able to make some good content these past couple of weeks. I think I'll keep it up. So yeah, tune in next week for another video. Ainsley, come here.